So we're here at the Churchill War Rooms today because this is a very appropriate venue to talk about resilience. So today we brought along a number of uh, current customers but also prospects uh, to come and hear uh, some of our experts talk about um, various elements that we think fit into um, organisational resilience. So we've been talking about uh, elements that affect the executive level of the organisation, so crisis management, uh, but also particularly looking at situational awareness and how executives and how organisations can find out as much as they can about uh, a disruption that might um, affect the organisation when it hits them. Then at the operational level we think about some of the business continuity elements. So how does an organisation's operational layer, the bit where goods and services are made, how do they get to keep going when faced with that disruption? And then obviously underpinning all of this is the IT layer and actually how does an IT or an information security team, how do they really keep the data and information that are so essential to an organisation how do they keep those flowing around the organisation, not just in normal times, but also in disruption? So I think we've all been in various times in our lives uh, participants in really dull conversations or presentations where you've had death by PowerPoint. And we've tried to avoid that and um, we've developed these roadshows over the last couple of years to make them ever more interactive because we found that's the best way to engage uh, with our audience. Yeah, I like the interactivity because it just gives people a bit more power to say what they need to say when they get back to the office. We've used a scenario that has put them in a the position of being an executive team in a, you know, in a theoretical banking organisation that suffered a disruption. And we've asked them a variety of questions to try and challenge their own thoughts around resilience. The business seemed to think uh, everything's sorted. But it's not. You know, we, we mentioned about a scenario of a power outage. We had a power outage last year, and the business just sat back and oh, it'll all work. They didn't look at what if it doesn't work. Everyone's got their own dif different experiences, and when you've got a, vera a range of people in an audience, they all come from different industries and different backgrounds. And actually, what they can bring is a different part of, you know, to use a cliche, a different part of the jigsaw. They've got a different piece. So actually that extra, that, that brings a much more rounded conversation, I think, around the various areas because some parts of resilience, you know, people have been focusing on for quite a while, for example, business continuity. That's quite well mature, established a business practice. But actually, situating that inside the idea of organisational resilience, people have got different perspectives to bring and also how they've successfully managed to embed it in their organisation. So what we've done is we've enabled people here today to talk about that together as well. I have to communicate these ideas to a very well, international audience. So by seeing how someone else is explaining it, it helps me with the, ah, oh, yeah, that will land really well if I say it like that. So it's being put across by you know, professionals in their field and it's, they've been able to put a sort of focused lens on something that I haven't been able to do So I'm dealing with my day-to-day -day job. So it's been really helpful for me to see sort of how that's being depicted and, and explained and I'm hopefully going to nick a lot of it and take it back and, and share it with my um, workplace. We've already engaged with Sungard for them to come in in May, and May, and May or June to actually go through scenarios with the executive to actually try and build our resilience understanding and at the end of the year we're looking at doing a, 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 a basic a resilience exercise. So we hope they've had some new ideas that come out of it, some uh, Things to take back to their, their organisations where they can think about how they can improve organisational resilience in their teams and in their organisations and actually how they can make, how they can bring the subject of resilience further up the agenda in their companies.